President Muhammad Buhari has signed a 982.7 billion naira supplementary budget into law. 859 billion naira, which is 87% of the fund, which is for contribution to the Development Fund for Capital Expenditure. And 123 million will be spent on recurrent non-debt expenditure. A statement from the presidency says uh, President Buhari commended the National Assembly for speedy passage of the appropriation bill. The president has also assured of the timely delivery of the capital projects included in the bill. The president has assented the supplementary appropriation bill. So now the supplementary appropriation act, since it has been assented by Mr. President. Of course, you know the supplementary uh, appropriation bill was submitted to the National Assembly and they made an expeditious consideration of the bill and was passed and transmitted a record time. And Mr. President has uh, today assented to that bill. And it, uh, of course, it will come into force from today. As you are all aware, the bill is targeted mainly at uh, you know, infrastructure in terms of security and medical. Uh, so it's, uh, you know, the, 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 the bill targeted the um, provision of infrastructure to all the military formations, i.e. defense, civil defense, army, police, um, uh, and the DSS, all the security outfits in this country will benefit from the bill because of Mr. President's commitment in converting crimes and indeed insurgency and all the security challenges facing the country. So to that end, this bill is very important and it has been assented to. Another critical area of concern is the health uh, sector, which of course we know with the pandemic, there is need to invest uh, in that uh, sector as well. Uh, the president has uh, having assented to the bill, you'll find that molecular laboratories, about 10 of them, will be established nationwide. And also there are um, oxygen plants that are also going to be established nationwide, and some rehabilitated, especially the ones in Abuja. As well as procurement of uh, vaccines, including the JNJ vaccine, which is a one-shot vaccine that had been approved by NAFDAQ earlier in, in, the, in the year. So all these monies are targeted towards uh, uh, health and, and security issues. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.